right uh, i created this hair cell and not knowing like it's going to be a hairstyle for everyone like people loved this hairstyle but now shame upon you to those ones who have been trying to do it but they're doing it in a bad way so uh, i did them in in that uh, brick locking and then the the, the brick braiding and now there's something also simple that i realized that can come out in, uh, from this so in this video i'm just going to be showing you how to do this exactly and now to be creative enough to do some other thing so Master. Yes, oh yes. Shame upon you, shame upon you. Those ones who have been trying to do this kind of a hair cell of the brick braiding and uh, they're still failing. Yes, I've been seeing most of you guys doing the uh the knotless braid, like they really no more knotless and then they hold them puff after doing the holding it puff then they just add that extension but yes that is wrong and now if you need to learn how to do this just follow this video as i'm explaining everything here so number one what we always do we just have to make the lines in the circle yes you make these lines in the circle following the shape of the head I know it is going to be somehow difficult for you because it is not like everyone uh, like all people are the same like with the head shape it is different you're just going to find those ones with long forehead and those ones with short forehead but now those ones with short forehead it might be somehow uh, simple for you but now but those with a long forehead it might be hard for you but the only thing that i can always uh, tell you is just maintain the circle just put it in your mind that you're doing the lines like they how to be in the circle in someone's head so that means if you would need if like uh, those ones with short forehead or maybe like long forehead if you see that your line that you're doing now like here you see this second line the first line now the second line it is stopping here so there is no i cannot get the hair from there but uh, it is not like i have to stop no i will just have to continue from that and i think i will just have to get it this way so you just have to keep like you have to measure as you're following the the circle lines so after doing all those lines uh, me what I do I just have to hold them so that they don't disturb me when I'm going to do so why I said shame upon you is that most people do it like one by one like they just do the real really not less the real not less braids but that is not what we have to do you might use the method of the not less braid format but the, the real good the good method and very simple that will come out for you in a, like very nicely is this one that one braid can connect with three uh lines you understand so i always do this it's just because i want the braids to be few on the head so that's when you re that's when you always realize that my hair cells that i always create i make sure that i make them simple yes not to um, make someone's uh, someone's head uncomfortable and um, um, the, those ones that, that are heavy no I don't do that so what you do you just make uh, a line here if you start from the first line like the way you're saying I'm going first this is my first point it means in on the second step I'm not going to hold the hair this braid is just going to pass through and then on the third one it is where i'm going to find the hair then i braid it so it means one braid can uh, make can be braided in two three or if uh, three two to three um 
boxes yes rather than doing one by one so this time around uh the in the first first video i've been using the not less way but this one i'm doing it from inside not less way if you can try to see the, uh, the, the it's like i'm doing the corners but it is the inside one not this up to so i always uh, tell you that um, i realized like according to the experience that i have is that this kind of uh braiding like this kind of the uh, inside not less way can last longer than these other ones so that's why i always opt to do this so you can see now this is one braid but it is covering two boxes <laughs> you understand so uh now this is the first one i take this is the first line also but it is uh, it was it, it is the second one if you try to see um the way i'm moving the circle but now it is where we're going to start from so it means if i played this the second box i'm not going to play it you understand it is just going to be uh, it's where the lines is going to pass through like it's just going to go like that but if there is the other third uh, line i can connect this on that third line so that is the only way you can just have to do this is just to make sure that one braid can braid like three to four or three to two uh, boxes than doing it one by one so if you learn how to do this trust me you will be able to do uh, uh you like you'll be able to have it exactly like mine because now i'm the one who created it and i know why i had to do this and uh, yes i know i had to do this because uh, mostly when you say that you're going to do it one by one the braids might be a lot so as as when you are adding the extension you find the head shape is losing and uh, people start looking funny so if you try to look at most of those people have tried to do this hair cell trust me they're looking horrible just because for them they do it in a wrong way so if you'd learn if you'd want to learn how to do it well please just look at this video it is going to help you so if i reach here you can see how i'm adding and then i had forgotten something i wanted to explain here is that sometimes if you try to look like her hair her hair is long and then it, it is thick so when you're adding the extension you don't need to add too much because when you add too much it's going to be very big and if it's big it might lose uh, also the meaning <laughs> so you just have to do it simple if the hair is thick just try to add a small extension so that you can maintain that body of not being too much so here you can see only one braid but it is a covering two lines you understand so that is the only way you can have you can do this and they be very very perfect perfect my name is maurice the crochet master and those ones who would need to come and you be braided from me you can always find me at hair by clippers yes it is hair by clippers with z is where i work from so you can always come and we work on you yes so uh, this is very very simple hairstyle but i have been seeing people struggling on how to do it yes but if you need to know how to do this this is the only video that can help you but on all in all the first is the foundation and the foundation is the circles from the head so it means if your circles are crooked if they're not well arranged even the outcome is going to be bad so you should at least at least take your time when you're making those circles like on the head yes and i know it might be somehow difficult those ones uh, you will find those difficulties on different types of head shape but once you learn how to make those lines trust me you will achieve this hair so even better than my me yes <laughs>
yeah that's what i can say so we just do it you can see now all this is the remaining hair and i wouldn't add more braids because here on top i'm just going to try to add on some extension so after doing all that the only thing you have to know here is to use your brain uh, that is uh, to, to to make sure that something that you're going to put here is not um it's not swollen like to be too much so you just have to maintain uh, making it very small so as you're adding the extension make sure that it is not all that big to make this part to look swollen yes that's what i can say so as you're continuing we're just going to make some corners here and these corners help us to um add on the extension on top that's why i always put these extensions so this is the continuation of the braiding and you see i'm doing it from the inside not um, inside not less way so that it is not painful no so it's not it, it it doesn't look as big here since i'm going to add on the extension and the extension that i'm going to add on i don't want it to be um like a cap <laughs> you understand yes i want it to be as flat as possible but you see how i'm struggling with the hair like the hair is a lot and with the volume so you will find those people with this kind of hair and even more than this so you just have to learn how to uh, main and uh, how to uh, no, like not to over over adding on the extensions yes so just like that so these ones i'm just going to braid it from the front and you can see still i'm using the inside uh the the, the inside corners just like that and i know most of you guys have learned on how to do this yes most of you have learned on how to do this and if you really uh, if you uh, you also need to learn how to do it you can always go on our, our website of the www.hairbyclippers.com so that you can get those classes and you start uh, uh, you, you, you learn how to do this inside uh, cornrows it is very very nice it can last longer than these other, other cornrows yes that's what i can say so for all that what we are going to do is to make sure that the hair on top is not very big, just like that. So like when we are done with everything, you can see how, how we have made this to look this flat and then i'm going to get my uh, spring twist extension and i start adding so that it can be twisted and we do the cutting so let's just try to do this as fast as possible so that we can see how the outcome is going to look and um what i can explain about this is that make sure please make sure that um you maintain the forehead like uh, the two corners so this hair extension that you add on top it just have to be in that line to have, like it just have to be in that line don't exceed it like to go beyond like below maybe no don't just have to make sure it is uh, on that line of uh, the, the, the corners those two corners that's where these extension have to be so that you can cut it very well trim it very well and it looks like um let's say it will be like in a, a french hair it's in a french style yeah if a french haircut yes so that's why you just have to make sure that uh in the middle of a corner so after this white the whitish thing they always ask me what is that white uh what thing that you always add on but this is the moss of the olive oil and after i can spray it this is the final my name is maurice the crochet master i love you so much and i'm gonna be signing out bye bye see you in the next video merry christmas and happy new year uh,
You look so good Nobody do it like Maurice Yeah Nobody do it like Maurice yeah. The crotchet master 